Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie if you are new and um, today I'm just gonna do kind of my day. Um, it's actually like quarter to two <laughs> but um, it's been a bit of a baby heavy morning so yeah he's got another 45 minutes of his nap um, left and then he's up for practically until bedtime so I was feeling just a bit like drained I think I've got like a very puffy face today um, and I've got quite a lot of breakouts so while he's asleep I just wanted to do some really nourishing kind of like skincare um, so I thought I'd turn the camera on and do that with you today um, I've also got a couple of parcels coming so I'll show you those. Um, I've got parcel coming tomorrow as well, so this might turn into like a just a two-day update because I'm excited about that parcel. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go. I'm gonna try and sort this out, and um, I'm very tired. I might make an iced coffee if I can be bothered to turn the espresso machine on. Um, and if I've got time, I might make some granola, but I might not have time before he wakes up. So we'll see. Anyway, let's get going. Um, first of all, I'm going to put a hair mask in because... <laughs> have you seen the state of this? Um, it's broken, it's dry, it's falling out everywhere. I don't know if you can see, it's just... Like clumps are falling out of my hair. Um, I was fully aware that this happens postpartum, but I didn't quite think that it would just like constantly fall out all the time. I'm over five months postpartum now, and um, yeah, it's still, still just like absolutely. I'm just, I'm molting, essentially. So yeah, I'm gonna go and have it all cut next Friday, um, which is Good Friday. Um, I managed to get an appointment really early in the morning. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm gonna get it cut. Um, and yeah, gonna hopefully have a lot more healthy hair and just feel a bit fresher. There's nothing worse than like oh God. I don't know, I just feel a bit like a grub, even though I'm, I'm like obviously clean <laughs> and I like cleanse my face twice a day and I do my skincare and I look after my hair and I do treatments on my hair and yeah I'm just having one of those like moments today with like my parents and my body um, I've been getting really disheartened about my ab separation and um, I've still got quite a big gap I think I mentioned it in a previous video still got quite a big gap to go so I've still got quite a like a paunch tummy <laughs> So it's like at the moment I have to live in leggings or joggers or yeah leggings and joggers or anything with like a stretchy waistband and it's just I'm just not feeling it anymore <laughs> I'm over it <laughs> I'm just being honest I'm over it um so yeah I've even been eating really bad um I've not been exercising, um, yeah, and just not been a good time, I'll be honest, but I'm um, hopefully going to try and sort myself out. I just need to plan, I'm a planner, so if I don't have a plan for eating healthy or like a schedule for like workouts or mo joyful movement that I'm going to do. Like, if I don't have a schedule for, like, moving my body, 
and eating well, then it tends to not happen. Um, and yeah, that's really bad. So I just need to try and get organised, really. But I just feel like, you know, when you, like, you feel like your brain has like 70,000 tabs open at once. And I just feel like I can't like get anything done because I'm constantly like zooming in my brain. So I'm putting this hair mask in and my hair is just like falling out. Anyway, I'm putting this hair mask in. I'll show you what it is in a second because I'm just currently covered in hair mask. But I just whack this all over my hair um, because it's just so dry. <laughs> it's not just the tips that are dry, it's that everywhere is dry. Um, so I think I'm going to have it cut into like a mum bob next week. Um, and I might possibly have some like bangs cut in. I might take the plunge. I was, last time I had my hair cut before Christmas, I was like anticip like, not anticipating, I was toying with the idea of getting bangs. And when I got there I bobbed it. So. That was fun, um, but I might actually go ahead with it this time. Um, but this is just the one I've been using. It's the um, hair food, the Papaya by Garnier. Ultimate Blends Repairing Hair Food. Um, it's got papaya and amla, is that how you say it? Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it smells so nice and that's what it looks like inside just like a really thick um creamy consistency like it doesn't come out really nice but yeah i'm just gonna brush this through and pop it in a bubble and then we'll get some nice hydrating skincare in sleek buns lately and the hair mask just makes it much more sleek so love that for me um i've just washed my face i've given it a good scrub um with this neutrogena clear and defend facial scrub um it's an oil free one and it's for spot prone skin so i was like oh, right now i have like mountains everywhere so i thought i would give that a go um normally in the morning because i want to like refresh my face i will use this neutrogena refreshingly clear grapefruit one um and that's really good that's for blemish prone skin see a theme here and then in the evening when i'm having my shower i will use my Clear and Defend just cleanser and my Foreo, my little mini Foreo, um, just to give like my face like a good scrub. Um, and then probably like once or twice a week I'll use this. Um, just because when I start to feel my skin going quite like dull, um, I like to give it a really good deep clean, so I will use that. So I was feeling like that at the moment, so I thought I'd just quickly grab that. Um, so now, um, normally I would use my um, gua sha, is that how you say it? And just kind of like go over my face and just like, I'd obviously put like a serum on and just do that, but I don't have time for that right now, so I might do that a bit later. Um, I have this freezing today. I don't know what's going on with the weather. Um, this is the night eye serum that I've been using. So it's only two o'clock, but we're not going anywhere today. And I just want to hydrate my skin. So I've been using this Symbiosis London. It's the overnight rejuvenating eye serum. 
um, and it says it has AHAs and RNAs in it. So it's quite hydrating eye cream, great for overnight. Um, look. It does say to carry out patch tests, which I've already done. I've been using this for months. Um, and it does say you can apply in the morning and evening onto clean, dry skin around the eye area. But I just use this in the evening. So I use this as an overnight one in the day. So in the morning, I use the top of the bottle's gone a bit grubby, but I use the ordinary caffeine solution. Just to, like wake up my under eyes. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will be filming kind of like my skincare routines like morning, evening and then like a deep like a spa night skincare routine where I do like face masks and things like that so I think I might film that soon but I'm not sure but anyway I just take little bits like this and I just pop them under my eye like so please put everything back otherwise I lose it and then using your ring finger, I just lightly rub that under my eyes. Does anyone else do this? Anything under your eyes, like mascara or under eye there? Like this. Um, and I just use that like that. I actually got that symbiosis eye serum in a glossy box um but i will try and find it but i think in the glossy box leaflet it was saying it was like 120 pounds of that size which is insane um i also am going to be using today i'm going to be testing out this shishido what is it the ultimune power infusing concentrate so I actually got this in the ASOS advent calendar, um, not last year, the year before, so 2020, but I haven't opened it, so we're still good. Um, I didn't even open the lid, so I've, ne I've never opened it before. Um, but I was trying to Google the use of it, so it's a serum, um, which it doesn't, because it doesn't give you much information on this bottle. This is the 15ml bottle. It doesn't give you much information at all. And then on the on their website, the only bit of information it gives you is there, which is, it says, uh, it's anti-aging serum gets even stronger with innovative technology. That's all it says. It doesn't tell you how to use it, um, anything like that. And then I was curious, so I looked at the price and for a 15 mil, it's 32 pounds. 32 pounds for that. So I'm thinking it's going to be very good because, what is it, the size of my index finger? Tiny, tiny, tiny product, £32. So we're going to try it and we're going to see, we're going to be trying it for the, until it runs out basically. Hmm. Smells fresh. It smells really fresh. Oh, it's very runny. Okay very runny and it's a pore bottle so that's the only thing I would say is that it's very runny it's a lovely consistency it feels really light um, and I'm just gonna pop that all over my face okay mmm smells floral but also a little minty hmm. I'm just gonna it would seem a little goes a long way so it might last a while but yeah I'm just gonna wow that feels really nice actually I'm gonna leave that to dry on my skin um mm. yeah that does feel really nice <laughs> and i pop that in my very messy cupboard um oh one thing that 
I use once a week, normally on a Sunday night for a bit of luxury, is this Esper product. It's the Overnight Hydration Therapy. Um, I actually went for a facial um, at a spa near me and they used this on me um, because my skin was very dry postpartum. And um, I also, if you've been following me for a, a little bit, you might know that I suffer from anxiety. And this has, I was struggling to get some, some good quality sleep. So as well as having a baby, the sleep that I was getting wasn't very good. So I was just shattered. So this, um, this balm, so I've used this quite a few times and I've hardly taken the top off because it's so, it's really thick and creamy and really helps with your skin and hydrating your skin. But you only need the tiniest bit and the tiniest tiniest bit will do my entire face my neck and my decolletage and it's it's incredible yes it says intensive treatment mask for replenished and radiant skin and on a monday morning i wake up and i just feel like a new woman um and i love it so yeah i use that on a sunday so i might show that in my little spa week treatment video but we'll see. Yeah. Oh, that's another good one if you want like really good hydration on your skin. Um, and then the moisturiser I've been using day in, day out for the last six months is this one. It's just from Boots. It's just really like cost effective drugstore moisturiser. Um, I think this was £5 for a 75ml tub and a little goes a long way. Um, so yeah, it's from Your Good Skin and it's the SPF 30 Antioxidant Day Cream. Um, I've just been using this day and night recently. It's really thick. It's quite... It is a more greasy moisturiser and I don't typically like that for my day moisturisers. Nighttime it's fine because I read somewhere that you're supposed to look like a glazed donut before you go to bed. <laughs> so your skin is just meant to be like glistening. And this does that. Um but for the day I'm not I'm not a fan of a greasy moisturizer for the day, not greasy, like an oily moisturizer for the day. I want more of like a lightweight hydrating moisturiser for the day so I'm still on the lookout for one that has really good like SPF in it so yeah we'll see if anyone's got any put it down in the comments please but yeah that is all I'm going to do for now and what time is it? 10 past 2 so as you can see glazed donut or egg um, so that's all I'm going to do for now. Uh, I'm going to go and possibly try and make some granola if I've got time. We'll see.
Okay, quickly, because my battery's flashing. But I'm just about to put this in the oven. Well, it's in the oven, but I'm just about to turn the oven on. So I've made two sheets of granola. Um, so this will last about three weeks. Um, so yeah, that's going to go in the oven. And then I'll show you it when it's done. But I need to go and put this battery on charge. Okay, bye. Hello, hello. Welcome back. I'm going to film this really, really quickly because I think Fox is waking up from his nap. So, yeah. Go me. Um, the parcel that I was expecting today has just come. All three of them come, which I was shocked about because I got told that only two of them were arriving today. So, winner. Anyway, this um, is just a little mini George Asda haul. Um, it's items for Fox. <laughs> Not for me. Um, but yeah, he needed a few new bits of clothing. So I've just kind of like ordered bits while they're in sale, basically. Um, so it's not sponsored, but I just thought I'd share with you a little haul because I think some of the things are really cute. Um, yeah, and then I'll quickly show you my granola that's just come out of the oven as well. So I'll get on with the haul. So first up, this was a pack of two hats. Um, they're still stuck together, but... When he's sat in the pram, the sun always shines in his eyes. So I thought, you know, it's getting warmer, she says. Um, but the sun was coming out and stuff, so I thought I'd buy him a couple of hats. Um, so it's this first one. It's just like a little sun cap. And it says, what does it say? Kind is cool. And it's just a little cute little soft sun cap. So it's just really soft, nice and friendly. Both of these, it says that they were seven pounds on here. Um, but I want to say they were on offer in the sale online um, and then there's this little bucket hat and it's got little berries on it and I thought it was just so cute so I got that one, the pack of two um, and yeah, just thought they'd be great for spring and summertime keep the sun out of his eyes, bless him and then um, I picked this up in a size 9 to 12 months because He's a big boy, so he will be in this in no time. But I thought this would be really cute for summer. How cute is that? A little tiny romper. It's really lightweight, um, like a linen-y type material. Um, like I say, I got it in 9 to 12. This was £9, but again, I want to say it was cheaper. I want to say it was in the sale. Um, it is a two-piece, and it come with a little bucket hat. This looks huge. I reckon that could fit me. Pretty much. Either either I've got a pea head or they're just thinking baby's head sizes are massive. But yeah, nine to 12 months. Um, but I just thought that was so, so cute. So I love that. There we go. He is waking up super, super quick. Um, okay, so we are starting to wean him. We have started on a few purees under doctor's advice. Um, so it is a little bit early, but I bought this pack of four and they're like waterproof, mess proof bibs. Um, he's got the cotton bibs at the minute that we used for, for, that we use for milk feeds, but he's been using those for purees and they're green. They're just covered in broccoli puree. So you get this one which says full up with goodness. You get a blue stripey one, a mustard stripey one. Oh, it's a pack of five, a white stripey one. And then it says eat, sleep, cuddle, repeat, which is pretty much my life right now. So it's very apt. So we got those. They were £3.50 for five, which was amazing. Um, and it also says so, sourced as responsible cotton. Love it. Um, this came as a two pack, as you can see, they're attached. Um, Ten pounds again. I want to say they were in the sale, so I want to say they were cheaper. Little zip up hoodie with bear ears in this lovely, lovely sage green colour. Um, and it comes with this again, bear eared navy zip up hoodie, um, because gonna get too hot for a pram suit soon and he's got no jumpers so I've got two of those um this was 350 
But again, I want to say it was in the sale for even cheaper. I want to say it was like $2.50. Um, it's got sleeves. There we go. Let's take the clip out. So it's a little over the body bib covered in dinosaurs. Again, like wet proof lining. But this goes full arms in. So just a bit more protection from the broccoli puree situation. Uh, last couple of bits now. This one, again, I got in 9 to 12 months. Yeah. This one was £10. It's a two-piece set, so you get a little thin, lightweight um, bodysuit. And then these cute little romper dungarees. They are so, so cute. So cute. Um, love a summer outfit. I think his little chubby legs are going to look adorable in that. Um, and then, last two bits were uh, sleep bags. So, these are 6 to 12 months in age. Um, this one was £13. There we go. What's it say? Always smiling and having fun. It's got a couple of elephants on. Absolutely huge, but you know, he's a huge baby. So I got that one, and then the last one I got, which again was on offer, um, is just this really cute like Winnie the Pooh one. Um, this says it was £18, but I think this is actually £14.50 on offer, and it comes with a little Winnie the Pooh like flannel comforter. Um, so he's got quite a few of these, and I'm hoping that he'll because he's not allowed them at the minute, um, obviously, but I'm hoping that when he gets big enough, he'll be able to have them. Um, so yeah, I got that one as well. Um, and that's all I got from Mazda really, guys. Uh, it was about £60 for all that, I think. Um, oh, got a lump on my head. I banged my head the other day on the, on the quartz, just excuse the chicken defrosting, on the quartz worktop. I nearly knocked myself out, it was ridiculous. Anyway, quickly before I go and then I'll hop back on to finish the vlog tomorrow when my other parcel comes, which I, I can't wait. But here's my granola. So it's two trays worth. Um, this will last about three weeks, three and a half weeks. So all I've got to do is once this is all cooled down, num, is add the chopped up dried apricots and the dried cranberries so i just add that mix it all in and then i just put it in my um storage cereal storage box and that's basically it if you want a video because i know that was a time lapse granola making because i just needed to get it done but if you want a recipe then i'll do a dedicated video for it um and i'll give you all the details there but yeah that's it, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Hi guys, it's now the next day. <laughs> Magic. Um, my Amazon order's just come, so I just wanted to show you what I got. So, I've picked my nails. So I bought some of these Kiss um, glue-on acrylic nails, just with like the French tip, and I got them. Um, they should be petite size, so they should just be really, yeah, petite size, says up there. So they're just really short ones, which I love. Um, I also got these magnetic mounts, so they're meant to be for your car, um, car phone holder, so they're like the replacement sticky, so that the magnet on your phone will work. But I'm going to use them to put our uh, monthly planners up inside the cupboard. quickly do this. Um, I also got three books. So I got The Familiars by Stacey Hall. Love the packaging. Thanks Ollie. I got The Foundlings by Stacey Hall and I also got Mrs. England. Um, and they're just gorgeous. So yeah. Ollie. So, uh, thanks very much. If you like this vlog, please give it a big, big thumbs up. Please tick the <coughs> notification bell and hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time for another video. Bye!